We have to be ready. You, me, the others. There's an attack coming from far away. Not coming, Bruce. It's already here. After Power Rangers, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Thor Ragnarok, Wonder Woman, and Logan, there was one more superhero movie to be released this year, Justice League. The anticipation for this film was huge, but so were the problems on set. During production, director Zack Snyder's daughter committed suicide, and he had to step down. The reins were then taken over by Avengers helmer Joss Whedon, who changed a reported 20% of the film. Most notably, he fired composer Junkie XL and replaced him with Danny Elfman. Then there was the mustache issue. Some scenes had to be reshot, but Henry Cavill, aka Superman, was already working on Mission Impossible 6, for which he had to grow facial hair. The producers of that movie didn't want him to shave it off, so for some parts of Justice League, it was digitally removed. This is already 2017's sixth comic book flick, so what is it about the genre that keeps luring people into theaters? We've always had our superheroes, we, whether it be Greek mythology and they be the sons of gods and goddesses or daughters of gods and goddesses. It's We've always had them, and these are just our modern day mythological heroes. There's something in them for everyone. Uh, there's the plot, there's a lot of action, there's the sense of tension, and I think that everyone, because everyone feels like, we all feel like we need heroes, this is kind of a escapism from the heavy, serious reality that we all live. Mm. And also a reminder of the possibilities in ourselves. Arthur Curry, the Aquaman. It's on him. Organic and biomechatronic body parts. He's a cyborg. You should probably move. Barry Allen. Whoever you're looking for, it's not me. With superheroes, of course, come super costumes. And while they're essential for the characters, they're not always that great on set. I remember the first time really like trying putting the suit into action. Uh, and a couple of those wires broke. I remember the first time we ran in the zoo and they were like, I had this glue, they glued mm. it back together. We were like, okay, it's gonna, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Here we go. The most impressive outfit is probably that of DC newcomer Cyborg. On set though, he got off the easiest. It was complicated, definitely in one sense, uh, in the in the digital scope of things, but it was pretty simple for me as the actor to put it on. Uh, and I was in a onesie just about the entire time. And so a lot of what that work is, a lot of that physicality for Cyborg, uh, it was something that you know I'd been working on uh, both in the gym and just moving on my own, trying to figure out what his walk is, like how he moves, what's going, like what's going on with the the different joints in the in the hands, what are they doing? Thanks, Alfred, but I'll take it from here. Uh, d do I know you? Israeli beauty Gal Gadot is back as Wonder Woman. She made a stunning impression in her solo film earlier this year, for which she practiced kung fu, kickboxing, sword fighting, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and capoeira. It was shot right before Justice League, so we'll definitely get to enjoy more of her moves. It was same, same, but different, as they say. I went to the same studio, same stage, same costume, but different people, different director, different crew. Well, hopefully Justice League will turn out to be as good as Gal's solo outing. It's just been released, so check out Batman & Co.'s newest adventure for yourself. It's good to see you playing well with others again. Just like a bat. I dig it. Maybe temporary. Yeah! Like what you see? Subscribe to our channel for more exclusive clips.